program complete. Auto engage time sequence synchronized. It looks like our ships are in position, so it's now time to declare war against, yeah, the Iridians and the Rogelians. So I'm going to declare war. Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Jamie Plays with me, Jamie. Today we're continuing our playthrough of Star Trek New Horizons. We are playing as the Klingon Empire, and things are going very, very well for us. Um, so we've taken out the Gorn, we've also taken out some of the miners that were around here. We're now bordering the Federation, and they're actually considered inferior to us, which is great. Oh, it looks like Flux is the, uh, yeah, Flux is the president of the Federation at the moment. That is interesting. Um, we still haven't taken, or we still haven't even met Romulus yet. Um, and I'm thinking the next ones we're going to go after are um, the Regellian Consortium, the Iridians, the Sanaa, and we're just going to, oh, and also the Holy Order of Kinshai. Oh, yeah, hold on, you're an annex, annexation under us? Hold on. Yeah, why is that considered a, like, I don't know. Anyway, we are going to integrate them. Um, 2190, so... Oh, actually, in a couple of months, we can start doing that. Um, we are continuing to expand. We've got our construction ships um, going to various places and doing various things, which is beautiful. Um, and we've got all of our ships upgrading at the moment, which is also nice. I'm thinking, why don't we recruit a new commander? Um, yeah, so accuracy plus 10. That's always nice. And you're already a security officer. Let's do you. Um, and we can also reinforce. I'm going to wait for the upgrades to finish, though, before we do that. So, yeah. Let's let everyone, all these ships upgrade. And there are tons of ships as well. Building great houses. Oh. Intervene to stop. Can I wait? 150. Oh, we could send a uh, military vessel for this distress call. Um, what I can do is say, let's send... Oh, hold on. You, come to Gorn. I think you've already... Yeah, you've already done your upgrades. And then you'll go back to Kronos. Um, you know, I think I can actually just leave this kind of over here and we'll be fine for a while. We're losing supplies. Um, let's buy some supplies. Like that. Oh. Um, oh. Oh. Promote, arrange succession-ship, uh, manage shipyard houses, promote a noble house. Yes, I think I want to do this. Um, let's promote the House of de Gore. Promote to Great House. Ah, but... We might lose opinions um, from some of the houses. You know what, that's actually okay though. Let's do that. And, yeah, let's get rid of those. So, they've battled their way, and, um, you've battled their way to the top and are ready to make their mark within the Empire. Perfect. That is the House of Tagore. Um, so, my chance to the House of Tagore is sends ready to support the Empire. Gives us an opportunity to rule the world on behalf of the Empire. We choose to honor and bring glory. So, we can say, uh, remains within the Empire. And, or, we can give Tiburon... Um, which one is... Tiburon, it's a rural colony. Uh, can't see much about you at the moment. You've got eight pops. Um, you know what, yeah, I will say, yeah, you can rule Tiburon. That's fine. Um, which is great because then we will have some more, um... Uh... What do I want to say? I want to say holdings. That's what we will do. So, um, int. Can we stop the feud? Ah, not this month. Maybe next month. So, contact has been established with the uh, Lurillian Commission. They're a minor. And now we can intervene to stop this feud as well. So, let's get rid of all of these. Timed projects, distress signal. We've already. We're going to be taking care of that. Um. We are the instruments of the void, weaklings. <clears throat> oh. Uh, diplomatic service? Yeah, let's set a Situation course for Euridia. Do we have a fleet? Oh, yeah, you have finished upgrading, so let's go to Euridia. Um, the Euridians... I mean, we're going to um, claim you anyway. 
We've claimed you. Uh, we cannot claim you yet. That's fine. Vessels Maybe upgraded. soon. So, third fleet, you've been fully upgraded. Uh, this one's been fully upgraded. Um, let's now build a lot of ships. Yeah, so we're going to get Birds of Prey, Strike Ship, and the ra one Raptor. And we'll also start this other fleet as well. So, alien writing. Someone used a mining laser in orbit approximately 5,000 years ago to carve a large body of writing into the surface of Alpha Phrenaceous One. The massive script covers a large portion of the planet's upper hemisphere and appears to be a short story chronicling the difficult life of an alien mercenary. It's fascinating. Oh, uh, you can upgrade again. Let's do that. Um, and I'm going to move the constructions of those ships down. I want to do the upgrades first. Speaking of, can we upgrade... We cannot upgrade the starbase yet. Oh, that's because we're still researching it. That's right. So, um, you... Uh, we can make you a nurse. Or careful. Make you a nurse. Star system charted. That's you done. That's this one charted. That's great. You can now swing by and take that as well. We've got this... Um, so we've got the... Oh, Klingon Imperial Lab. We have that already. Hold on, let's go here, and it's here. Set the research focus, let's go for engineering initiatives, because we don't have any rare research at the moment. Oh, so MREC has reached the next tier. Um, House of... yeah, you. Let's add in some things like... What do I have in my other um, holdings? I've got the Satellite Campus, the Emporium, and the Aid Agency. That sounds good. So... Let's go for the Satellite Campus. Let's go for the Empir uh, Emporium and the Aid Agency. Oh, interesting, albeit primitive design for the Solar Sailor that we found. So, um, open borders from the Sonar Command, that's great. Um, you have leveled up. Um, Homesetter, Engineer, or uh, definitely Engineer. Planets with low stability. Um, oh, encounter. Great. So let's meet somebody new. So let's go and assign you. Um, let's also try to do some more espionage against the Federation. Um, let us gather information. We're just going to launch. Oh, the Orions are there. Betazoid houses. Nope, you're with the Federation. We won't do that. Uh, ooh. Traditions available. Um, all loyal houses form a stronger opinion of the Empire whilst it's at war. Or houses have their loyalty increased by, oh, 25%. Yeah, let's do that. Because if we look at our, yeah, all of you, with the exception of the Holy Order of Kinshire, who we're going to start integrating shortly, uh, you like us. It's great. So, you... Oh, uh, definitely build that outpost, and then we're going to build that outpost as well. And you are coming up here to Vessels build upgraded. those outposts, so that should be fine. Oh, um, Spymaster recently caught, launched a quiet investigation of their own operatives in the UFP, noticing a recent drop in their performance. Yeah, unfortunately, this cannot be tolerated. We're going to have to issue reprimands. Oh, infiltration level has increased by two, though. That's nice. That helps us. That very much helps us. Um, oh, and there's a distress hall around Gorn. Battle stations. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. Is this my ship? Sixth Fleet of the Klingon Empire. Yeah, okay. That must just be trying to merge with this here. Distress call, we've gained 200 alloys, which is excellent. You have no orders. A bird of prey has no orders. Raptor. Ah, okay. Are you supposed to be your own ship? Your own fleet? Oh, maybe it is, actually. Maybe it's... Is that... Are you six fleet? You are six fleet. You weren't supposed to move. That's okay. Have you go back to Kronos... And you're moving to Kronos as well. Um, this one, you've done that in Illyridia. Let's bring you back. Um, 
Transport armies, let's bring you over here as well. Oh, and you know what? Let's do some colonization, because we now have the Gorn, so we can do Torrid empires. Let's go like that. Um, and I said empires, I meant planets. And let's add you as well. Yeah, the rest of these, not yet. Uh, we'll have to find some other oh, species to uh, do that for us. Let's get rid of those. Um, you... Alloys on Ropenthe. No, let's make you. Let's make you. Let's increase your hostility. Yep, and you are both moving that way as you should. Um, and we can build some more ships, so let's build another bird of prey. Uh, oh, you can upgrade. Unyielding or learn. Uh, let's do unyielding. Um, and then for these aliens, we can't nab them, unfortunately, so we're just going to keep at it. Yeah, not going to activate any relics at the moment. Um, we only have the passive ones anyway. Kronos, why do you not have a job? Oh, we've only got slaves here. Okay. Um... That would give... <laughs> Excuse me, that would give us another building slot. I think we can use. Let's actually do that. Let's max out our city building. Uh, <clears throat> or the number of cities we can have. Are there any decisions we can do on Kronos as well? Assist research. Construct the Klingon Academy. Oh, we're definitely doing this. Max education districts plus one. Yep. Um... Yeah, let's do that. <clears throat> so we're losing supplies again. Everywhere else has... Or will have. <clears throat> Excuse me. Planetary College, Mr. Uh, there's no more upgrades for you, unfortunately. Uh, let's give you an upgrade, but again... We're not going to get a job for this one ruler. So... Oh. Um, let's buy some more supplies, um, and I'll do that by going like that first. We can go like that, and then we won't have to worry about that for a while. So, um, let's say the dangers of ignorance are greater. We want to meet them. <clears throat> so you are building the one here. Oh, uh, abnormal conditions, a planet modifier has appeared on Baku. Cool. So, um, what are my fleets doing? I've got you moving to repair. Star system charted. Oh, another one has been charted. Excellent. Oh, magnetic reversal. This is very intriguing. So we've experienced a complete reversal while it's being observed by our ship. This rare event has uh, interchanged the positions of the planet magnetic poles. Fortunately, it was all recorded by sensors for our ship, providing our scientists with a lot of valuable data. Perfect. The commander has leveled up. Oh. House of Dagor and the House of Moog have become allies. Excellent. Um, so. We can keep you vigilant. Or adventurous spirit. Or... No, let's make you... Actually, no. Let's make you more vigilant. That sounds good. And then... <clears throat> Shipyard. Yeah, you're doing the colony ships. We can definitely build some more ships as well. So that's two raptors there. Yeah. And there's the bird of prey there. Oh, someone else to meet as well. So let's do first contact with you. Oh, we've met the Romulan Star Empire in the Jessica system. They are tiny. And they close their borders to us. That's absolutely okay, because we are going to eventually conquer them anyway. So, it doesn't matter if they want us around or not, we will be. So you, um... You're moving to build some more star bases. Let's actually have you do the same thing. Build, uh, sorry, build an outpost there, build an outpost there. And then, yeah, we will build this outpost as well. And we will 
increase the size of our border with the Federation. Um, let's then also have you take these two as well. Maybe, yeah, just two for now. So, new research. Uh, invisibility barrier. Great, we have primitive cloaking. So, let's now go for the science console, because we need to do that anyway. On screen, we've met the Orion Trade Union. Yeah, I mean, we will definitely be uh, vassalizing, or actually probably just plain out conquering you. We could take Beta Rigel directly as well, and we'd uh, attack both of those. Yeah, you know what? Make claims. Claim the Beta Rigel system. Close borders from the Betazoid houses. That's absolutely fine. So, it looks like we've got what? Let's take these two fleets, and we're going to move you to the Malaria system. Actually, can we... Beta Rigel? No, but probably from Maluria there is a direct, direct jump point, direct warp point. So let's move you there, and then let's move these three fleets here. So in about 160 days or so, we are going to, um, yeah, declare war against the Rizalians and the Iridians and take them both. So, this transport ship, I'm going to have you move to uh, NOS. We're not going to go any farther than that for now. Planets with unemployment. Uh, Gornar, yep, we knew about you. This one, Haven. Um, I think we're going to have to move you some... Hold on. No, I've got some jobs. Yeah, let's get rid of you. Restore jobs? No. There we go. Yeah, security officer. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Maybe doctor? Yeah, let's specialize in being a doctor. That way we at least have someone there. You shouldn't be tech you shouldn't be a technician. Why? <clears throat> okay. Well we have a born as a technician when you could do so much better. But that's okay. On Kronos, we now have a yeah, place here. Let's go for a distillery, because we are going negative for our supplies. Um, that should be more than enough for you. Star system charted. So you... Oh, um, can we promote a noble house? No, we can't. Manage shipyards? Uh, we should seek to rectify... No, we can't build any house uh, shipyards, so we're not going Star to. System charted. So let's get rid of those. <clears throat> yeah, you're doing these. Okay, so we now have the Delta Lepora system has been charted as well. You are doing this one. Oh, Extreme Storms. So, ex experiences massive and extremely violent storm systems in its atmosphere. Several dozen persistent storms are visible from orbit, with winds often reaching speeds in excess of 700 meters per second. The cause of these storms is not immediately apparent, and we have nothing in the planet's climate model, um, or as we found nothing in the planet's climate model, that would explain them. Our scientists are interested in studying this phenomenon, uh, this anomaly. Excellent. So, yeah, you are moving through. That one shouldn't take too much longer. Okay, so what we could start doing is let's integrate you. <clears throat> yep, we'll lose... Uh, we'll only go down to plus 10 per month, but I think that's something we can... We'll be fine with. It looks like our ships are in position, so it's now time to declare war against, yeah, the Eurydians and the Rigelians. So I'm going to declare war. war to safeguard our interests. And then unpause and repause. So these two jump there. These three, you're going to jump there. And we are going to take these two systems. Going to be excellent. <clears throat> and then, of course, we will... Uh... Oh, Commodore. Engineer. Let's make you a Commodore. Star system which charges. means that we will be able to we add more ships to this fleet. Yep. 
Do you not have any military ships? Looks like we don't. Or they don't. Um, here, there is a small fleet there, but it's really tiny. So, let us sell, sell, uh, sell, and sell. Oh, and definitely sell our deuterium. And go like that, and buy some supplies. <clears throat> oh, there's the Iridian fleet. Ship has been destroyed. While boarding the uh, Apollon, the ship has been destroyed, and it's unclear whether it was a result of our soldiers or an action from crew in defense of their ship. Yeah, we're really uh, taking out that star base. So, how is this coming along? It's done a little bit of shield damage. Um, we've done lots of other damage to them, though, which is excellent. And Beta Rigel, that's been taken. So, let's bring our transport fleets here. There's, what, two planets, it looks like? Three, four planets? Wow. Reveal our presence. Uh, oh, battle stations, shipboarding unsuccessful. <clears throat> ah, we are taking out the transport ships, especially. Colonization in progress. Looks like you're not really fighting that hard, and why are you at 3k? Don't really understand that. So, um, interesting, we are able to meet two more people, or two more peoples, I should say. Two more civilizations. <clears throat> and uh, hopefully we will take them out. Meet them and take them out quickly. Oh, they're in the Talun system. Okay, that's probably going to be easy. Um, you're doing automatic construction, but you're not actually doing anything. So why don't we have you move to the Mutara Nebula, actually upgrade, and then... Wait, hold on. Oh, you have... Why? Why? Um, let's definitely go for naval depots there. We don't need... Um... Uh... Oh, and you've, you're all disconnected. Oh, these are all... We never changed these to naval depots. I see. None of these need to be shipyards. Um, trade routes. Alright, trade routes go there. You 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 go there. And you go there. There. They should all now... Oh. Um, Naos. Uh, Kronos. Oh. You go there. The uh, Naos Starbase. Kronos? Yeah, like that. <clears throat> We'll then get two more shortly. Construction. Great, so that was a nice little war. Um, oh, Anchorage is over here as well. Trade routes go there. No, you're going to go to Gorn and you're going to go there. Um, okay, you are... Building that star base as you should. Uh, let's then build that system. Oh, build the one in that system and do that one. Yeah, okay. At least now everyone's doing anything. So let's prepare a diplomatic envoy for whoever you are. It will be a minor civilization. Get rid of those. System charted. Uh, Sixth Fleet, you're going to need a new leader. Um, oh, yeah, that's not great. So the houses sometimes will give us bonuses. Cloaking strength. Um, House of Palkar, pop growth. Well, let's give you um, that leader there. Reinforce. And new research. Let's go for the... Let's go for the hospital complex because we've already done some research on that. Prepare a diplomatic envoy. <clears throat> and contact has been established with the Council the of Elysia. Or Elysia. Um, oh, yeah, we're going to make you a miracle worker. Sub light speed plus 10%. Okay, anything is better than nothing. Planetary invasion commenced. Planetary invasion commenced and succeeded. Star um, oh, speaking of, what is the strength of... Oh, 
Uh, you upgrade and go, and then go explore. Oh, actually, hold on. Upgrade and then explore, but not archaeological sites. Oh yeah, you're at 28. <clears throat> Chancellor, I come before the High Council to report the death of one of our house warriors in combat against a soldier from the House of Imrek. The leadership of House Antak considers this an act of murder and we demand that they are suitably punished. Was this honourable combat? The battle was a ritual combat, but I do not believe this would have taken should be taken into account. Your warrior should have fought, fought harder or would be executed for this act. I mean, it was honourable combat. Ritual combat. They should have fought harder. So let's see what effect that has had on my relations with them. Yeah, their loyalty hasn't changed. Construction complete. Okay. So, Holy Order of Kinshire, you just need five months left. Oh. <clears throat> uh, careless pawing. According to the report from the crew, and their mission was a failure. The science officer allegedly took manual control of the probe sent to retrieve a sample from the cluster, resulting in collision between the drone and the mineral, mineral cluster that, while mild, resulted in a mineral cluster breaking apart completely. The crew is careful to note that the experience has left the science officer somewhat shaken, and the mineral shard should still be of some value. The parts are equal to the sum of its parts, would gain the minerals, and ship anomaly research speed plus 10%, which would be nice. Or, we find such careless... Um, no, you know what, let's go for the minerals and the anomaly research speed plus 10%, because that's good. Carelessness unacceptable, as the Klingons we wouldn't really care. But let's do that. Contact has also been established with the Proyas Tribunal, which um, I believe if we go... Uh, sorry, that's Baku. Uh, this one. There, yeah, there are two right there. So, we are taking out... Yeah, this, and it looks like we have lost a one army so far. No, we've lost four armies so far. Five. Star system charted. Anyway, invasion force that's that one done. So what I am going to do, you know what? Let's go to Kronos. And I'm going to build some more armies. Put some Klingons. One, two, three. Oh, we can only have 40 assault armies. That's fine. Um, so, who else in our species? Who else is... Um, Narrow-minded. Yeah, we're trained warriors. Are there any other... Actually, you know what? Maybe easier than looking at it that way. Let's go... <clears throat> go here. Um, recruit. So, Sulabon. Uh... Neither of those actually would be great. So let's go Rorapenthe. Um, let's see what the Nosikins are like. Oh, not you. Um, armies, recruit. Nosikins. Oh, Nosikins are actually even better than the Klingons. So what we can do is say, let's go for a an assault army of Nosikins. Yes, right here. There. So we'll make 20 armies Attacking right now. Vessels. So on Kronos, we still have... One without a job. Oh, because it's not a slave job anyway. Um, let's go like this. Yeah, unemployed 13. Let's rest restore, and that's Ground all the jobs we need. There. Um, I would also like to build that last distillery. That should be enough. Great. So we've taken over those two planets. Attacking enemy vessels. And now it's just this one with one army, so we should be fine. Oh, we've got three scientists without... ...jobs. Okay. don't really know why that is. However, um, you are a scientist. Um, let's see what we can... Oh, medical practitioner. Yeah, if there's a special one, let's go for the special one. So, on Nausicaa... We have only the Nosikin. Yeah, we can go like that. Make you a security officer. 
So you finish there. Let's now have you move to Eridia and do the same thing. Star system charted. Ah, so we've got you need a science leader. We've got one. I mean, here, sure. Let's continue your exploration. We've got a science ship here. Um, so for you, continue your exploration. We've discovered an archaeological site here on Iconia. We definitely need to take that. We've got 10 planets with unemployment? No, just one planet with unemployment. Haven. Um, and if we go like that, yeah, we're fine. So let's get rid of those. We've successfully invaded Polar. Yeah, so that's all of you there. We just literally need to take Eridia now. So, you, um, let's go for the Naval Logistics Center. Naval Logistics Center. Naval Logistics Center. And actually, I will replace those other, that other module as well. Um, I mean, we're fine for lithium at the moment. Uh, let's build some more ships. In fact, can we go like that? We can. Oh, we are losing supplies, so maybe let's deal with that first. And go like that, and then build even more ships. Oh, interesting. More people to meet and eventually conquer. Uh, let's gather some information on the Federation. Planetary invasion. Yeah, this will be extremely simple. And yeah, we've now finished. So, oh, let's say Swirling Shadows. Okay, we're going to achieve our war goals and the best possible outcome. So, I think I'm going to put a cut here. So I do hope that you've enjoyed this episode. If so, definitely please remember to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time for an episode of Jamie Plays. Bye for now.